Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, April 11th, 2019. I hope you guys are having a good week so far. Um, we're almost at the weekend. It's exciting. But let's see. Let's see what we've got going on for the collective today now this keep in mind this is a general reading okay so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't just because it's coming through today does not mean it has to resonate for you today um you know and this is not specific to anything love career a sign or anything this is literally just what messages spirit would like to share with us or discuss with us today all right so let's just get into it guys And I'll also, I want to thank you all for, for being so compassionate yesterday with my technical difficulty. Um, I did put a fresh pair of batteries in my, <laughs> in my, uh, my microphone, so we should be good for now. Yeah? All right. Let's get into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, April 11th, 2019. Mm. <sighs> all right. Thank you so much, Spirit. <clears throat> okay. Um, I apologize if I'm moving a little slow today. I don't really have that much of a reason to. I'm not that tired, but... <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Thursday, April 11th, 2019. I give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got. All right. Thursday, April 11th, 2019. Here we go. Justice. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's interesting. King of Wands. Seven of Cups. High Priestess in Reverse. Okay. Interesting. All right. Overall energy. We have the King of Swords. All right. King of Swords. Huh. All right. We have Justice with the High Priestess in Reverse and the King of Wands. We also have the Seven of Cups and then the Three of Wands has fallen face down. Let me do it this way. <clears throat> I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Well, this sure is interesting. Um, I'm, uh, this is really interesting. Okay, so. Justice is being served here somehow. I'm, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out who is what, because what I'm seeing between the High Priestess and the King of Wands, I'm seeing two different people, okay? Obviously I'm seeing the feminine and I'm seeing the masculine. <laughs> 
Um, and the feminine is not talking. <laughs> Although, so, okay, the high priestess is an energy in which someone or well, it could be if it is in, if it is indicating a single person, it could be that you know they're very secretive. They're not telling anything. They're not speaking about anything. When it's reversed, it could mean that you know a bunch is being revealed. But in this case, what I'm feeling like the initial feeling that I have is that someone has clammed up, clammed up, and it's almost like they've clammed up for good. Like, like what I'm literally, what I'm feeling is this is an extreme version of the silence of the high priestess in the sense that when the high priestess is upright and she's silent, she's, does, she's, she, she's doing so out of necessity. Um, she's not just going to give up uh, the information that she has willy-nilly. She will divulge. Uh, either when the time is right for the individual or um, when it's, well, okay, I guess the time, when the time is right for the individual. And that could mean, you know, when the moment is correct, the circumstances are correct, or like, um, you know, when they are ready to receive, I mean, I'm saying it over and over that I'm repeating myself, but I'm trying to give you different ways in which she, she, when, when the individual is ready, she will divulge her information. But when here, what this feels like is like this high priestess has no intentions of talking. Um, it's an energy of, it's almost an energy of, of like she's turned her back. Like she's, permanently removed herself from the situation. And I mean, th th that's the language that's coming through. That's the terminology that's coming through as in like permanent and like she has no intentions of ever opening back up again. But I, I would say take that with a grain of salt, you know? But see, here's the thing. And this is what I'm trying to figure. What I was trying to figure out: who's who here? Because the King of Swords energy is here, and we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is the masculine energy in this situation. You could, you could say that the King of Wands is the divine masculine. The Queen, or the 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 High Priestess is the divine feminine. Like if we're talking Twin Flames. Um, Either way, this is a counterpart situation, even though it doesn't necessarily look like it between the High Priestess and the King of Wands. This is a bit of a counterpart situation. And it really speaks to where the feminine energies are versus where the masculine energies are. The masculine energies are still very much in this ego-centered, egocentric, um, very strong-willed, bold, confident, is ego-centered. <coughs> Excuse me, it's, it's an energy of them feeling like they can do and say whatever they want. That's kind of, it's ego-centered. That's what I'm hearing with this King of Wands. It's ego-centered. And this is very much why the High Priestess here is like super clammed up. And we have Justice. Justice is here because justice is being served. I mean, this feels like, this feels like it's fair. Honestly, this feels like the high priestess is saying, if you're gonna come at me like that, then you can expect nothing from me. Absolutely nothing. You don't get to, <laughs> you don't get my secrets just because you feel entitled to it. You don't get to know, you don't get 
to be privy to this information. You don't get the, the downloads. You don't get the knowledge just because you feel entitled to it. You are no more entitled than anyone else on this planet. And those that are receiving the information, that are getting the downloads from the universe, that are getting the upgrades, that are, that are going through the ascension process, they're working for it. So you don't get to just waltz in here and say, hey, woman, give me whatever you got. No. Oof. I really don't. <laughs> this is such a switch from what we've been talking about. But see, okay, then and then and then the King of Swords comes in. The King of Swords, especially with justice. The King of Swords is the overall energy, which means to me that the High Priestess being in this position is not a bad thing at all. She's actually literally doing her job. Okay? Now, here's the thing. This is why I'm saying, <laughs> this is why I'm saying that the high priest is clamming up like this forever is not like take that take a, take that with a grain of salt it's really not forever it's not going to be forever because we have the 7 of cups and the 3 of wands now the 7 of cups is a, can be a confusing energy yes it really can be it can be an energy of illusion um it can be somewhat of a fearful energy um but it's, it does talk about confusion, but it also talks about lots of different options, right? And in this sense, what I'm picking up here from this Seven of Cups is that there is a lot. There's a lot of baggage, you guys. Lots and lots of baggage. With the Seven of Cups, there are a lot of different things to go through, to handle, to discuss, Spirit is saying you know, talking about things. There's a lot of that. And this King of Wands doesn't get to show up whenever he wants to and demand things from individuals that have gone, about, gone on about their business. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way, buddy. But see, now then, with that though, you have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands lately has been saying specifically that you're on the right path. Um, and it's saying that because it's, it's indicating a path. Okay, this is your spiritual journey here. You're on the path. You know, regardless of whatever it may look like, regardless of whatever it may feel like, you're on the path. And it's not like you're gonna like, get off the path i mean you can't really <sighs> is that a blessing or a curse i don't know uh, whatever that's for you to decide but <laughs> you're on the path the scales need to be balanced here and i really do feel like the high priestess is doing a lot her behavior is doing a lot to bring the scales into balance. The King of Swords is the judge, is the energy of seeing things clearly and concisely, seeing things as they truly are, being privy to both sides of the equation, but then weighing it out with justice here. Okay, awesome. So now we've got another We've got another um, depiction here. Um, this could have, this could very well deal with the legal system. This very much could deal with the legal system. Some uh, 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 a mistress may have been revealed here. Someone may have found out about a mistress. And now, because the high priestess can represent that, has represented that in the past in, in cases, so sometimes it can. And now in terms of the seven of cups and the three of wands, someone 
could be trying to decide what their future path is. Again, though, if this is you, you are on the right path. This is something you've set up for yourself to learn from. Even though it may be painful, you know, a marriage could be coming to an end, a relationship could be coming to an end, it could be a really difficult, difficult transition, but you did in fact set yourself up for this. Regardless of whatever the, the specific situation is, you have set yourself up for this to learn from it. Everyone has. Everyone has, okay? Regardless, though, I do feel like everyone is kind of seeing things clearly. Or at least the energies of things being very clear and direct are here with this King of Swords energy. And because of that, uh, justice is being served. Karma is being repaid. It's, I wonder if the Seven of Pentacles is going to come out because this does this very much feels like um, you reap what you've sown type of energy, you know? All right. <clears throat> Let's get into the clarification section now. I actually, I want to start by clarifying justice specifically. I might, you know what, I, I really do think, I really do want to split these up individually. So I'm going to start with justice, then I'm going to define the high priestess, then the king of wands, and then finally the seven of cups and the three of wands. Um, now this does, I was saying that I did say that this is very different from, you know, the rest of the readings that I've done over like this past week and a half or so, like all these soulmate readings that were coming through. But now that I think about it, it's really not that different at all. Um, it's really not that different. <laughs> But again, this is a general reading, guys, so take it as it resonates. All right, one more shuffle, and then we're gonna, I wanna clarify justice here. All right, here we go. Justice, please, spirit, just some clarification. The Ace of Cups. Wow, one more, please. The Nine of Swords. Mm. At the root of the situation, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Or I'm sorry, at the, 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 the bottom of the deck. I guess you could say it's the root of the situation. Um, all right, so... Wow. The Ace of Cups with the Nine of Swords. So justice here is learning to love yourself. Um, okay, see, I'm getting, I'm picking up anxiety on both ends here. Lessons have been learned with the Ten of Pentacles. Also, though, this is about being in it for the long haul, all right? So, like, like what I was saying with the, the energies of the High Priestess coming through and clamming up and seemingly clamming up for good. Um, it's not necessarily the case or how it's going to be or how it's meant to be. Because the Ten of Pentacles talks about time, the path. Um, it talks about long-term investment, being into things, being in things for the long haul, right? Um, the, the anxiety here when it comes to the Ace of Cups is, number one, someone wants to offer something. Someone wants to offer a cup of love. 
but they don't know how to, and they don't even know if they're even allowed to at this point. Like, in some cases, it's so extreme in which someone feels like they would, they wonder if they were to approach someone else, would they get slapped with a restraining order? And in some cases, I mean, it's entirely possible that that is quite justified with justice here. This is very much an energy of you reap, you reap what you've sown. Okay, now on the other side of the situation, that I guess we'll say that's the masculine. On the other side, the feminine has very much learned to, to love herself. And so she's most likely clammed up and clammed up real hard, like real hard. <laughs> but you see, that's creating anxiety for her too. Now, I'm saying him and her, it's not gender, it's energy, okay? But I'm just using the pronouns for ease of communication. That's causing her some anxiety too. Because she's probably wondering if clamming up is really the best thing to do because she does in fact know what's going on. She is connected. Um, she does remember what all this is about, whereas the masculine is just now kind of starting to wake up to it and it's probably like way too late in the grand scheme of things. Like, well, no, in the grand scheme of things, it's never too late, but in the, in the microcosm, so much has happened um, that's been very, very negative and very, very hurtful and the feminine was pushed so hard into this kind, I guess you could kind, kind of call it a shell, that under current societal um, mindset, logically speaking, you would never even, you would never even think of speaking to this person again. But you see, that's kind of the energy that we are working our way out of. So that's why the feminine side of this is like feeling anxious or feeling like, you know, something she's doing something wrong or something like that because she's she's holding herself off. She's holding herself back. She's not willing to communicate under false pretenses. She's not willing to communicate with anything less than the truth, honesty, integrity, the king of swords. But then standing that ground because she loves herself or because she's found a new form of respect for herself, it's like a double-edged sword. Well, swords are double-edged, aren't they? It cuts you, but then it's cutting her too. It's almost like it's a loose-loose situation. Okay. With that said, Let's, let's clarify this High Priestess in reverse then. I might go back and clarify Justice a little more. But the High Priestess in reverse, please. High Priestess in reverse, please, Spirit. Ah, yep, the Hermit. You see? God. One more, please. Justice, are you kidding me? Yo, yeah, oh damn, oh guys, judgment, oh shit. And there was another one that came out. Um, greater clarification in terms of this high priestess energy that's feeling the anxiety because she's, she's holding herself cup of love and she loves herself and she's not willing. <sighs> to a detriment though is what I heard, what is this? The four, oof, yeah, the four of pentacles. Okay, all right, here's the thing, you guys. Here's the thing. Um, detriment, to a detriment. So, all right, high priestess in reverse. I guess, oh, man, you see, I can't, I can't tell. I really can't tell if this is good or bad. I, I, I want to say right or wrong. Being in this high priestess, the high priestess in reverse here, I can't, I can't tell if it's right or wrong. And spirit just said to me, well, it isn't wrong, but 
I'm... There is no such thing as right or wrong. That's why I'm having this dilemma. And also, I want you guys to know, I have, as I've been doing this reading, I've been getting a pain, like my muscles in my my neck and my back on my right side or my masculine side, like by my neck and my back, like you will say between my throat and my heart chakra, but on my back, have been tightening up. And now I have this pain in my back. Y'all, the masculine needs to communicate, but here's the thing about it. All right, so the high priestess is in reverse here. Why? Because she's gone to herself. She's gone inward, and she's she says, fuck this, I'm doing this on my own. I will walk my own path. I don't need you. I don't, I don't need you to walk with me. If you don't wanna walk with, with me, you don't have to walk with me. I'm doing this on my own then. Justice and the Hermit. Justice is being served here, you guys, which is why it's, I'm saying this is not bad. I mean, it's not wrong. Obviously, there is no right or wrong. It's not bad, though, because it's justified. It's not like this high priestess energy in reverse is clamming up just because she wants to be a petty bitch. No. <laughs> No. Underneath the deck, the root of this, judgment, the higher calling, ascension, the final judgment call, judgment and justice, judgment and justice, the final judgment call. Like saying, with the king of swords as the, oh my God, do you, are you understanding what I'm saying? I hope you guys are. I really hope you are. And if there are masculines out there that are watching this, that are dealing with this with their feminine, I hope you're understanding now. Okay, I hope you're understanding what this, what I'm trying to say, because I know I'm, I'm not really. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Um, okay, but here's the detriment, though. The Four of Pentacles has fallen out over here. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna get another deck, and I'm gonna clarify more of this because this is only getting more confusing. The Four of Pentacles is talking about needing to let go of something. Oh, well, okay, for both sides, it's needing to let go of what has happened in the physical. Now, even though the feminine might have every right to be clammed up like this, okay, there are still some things she needs to let go of. All right? And I'm not going to sit here and say, for the masculines out there that are watching this, I'm not going to sit here and say that she isn't willing to let go. I really think she is willing to let go. But you can't just show up like this, King of Wands, and expect her to be okay with it. We're going to, let's clarify the King of Wands a little bit, please. King of Wands, please, Spirit. Just some clarification here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, you have the Four of Wands with the Four of Cups. And underneath the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. All right, feminines, check it out. The masculine wants union, and he's feeling kind of rejected now. But and the masculine feels really trapped, too. Obviously, he's got the eight of swords. Um, all right, I want to, I want to talk about this for a second. Um, masculines, so, yes, in the twin flame situation, I have 
referred to the the divine masculine as the king of wands in the minor arcana whereas the feminine is the queen of wands so in some ways sure you are showing up in somewhat of an appropriate manner but it's going to take more than just you being fiery and passionate. You have to be willing to communicate. And in most cases, you're probably gonna have to be the one to open up here first, because the feminine has spent lots of time, lots of energy and lots of effort trying to open up trying to get you to open up even especially when it wasn't even her place to do so it never was her place to make you to try and force you to open up you had to do it on your own but you see this is where the eight of swords comes into play because you can't go about it in the same old paradigm you have to evolve you have to grow up and you have to show up and being a grown uh, being a grown up is being able to communicate now for some of you you're in a position where you feel like you can't communicate with the person and i don't know what to tell you there All right, guys, um, I think I know how I'm gonna f close out this reading. It's gonna take a minute, but I want to finish this first. Seven of Cups, Three of Wands. There's a lot of baggage that needs to, to be worked through, okay? I, in the path, you're, you're, on, you're both on the path. You are both on the path, all right? So, This energy of feeling like you're never going to be able to discuss or open up or talk to this person again, I, I don't believe that because you're on the path here, okay? But let's get some clarity. Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands, please, Spirit. Oh, boy. Oh. One more, please. Or we'll see if there is one more. Oh, oh. Good Lord. Okay. So, underneath the deck, you have the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Books. I told you, this is not the end. This is not the end, okay? Um, let's talk about what came out here first. Holy moly, we have the Ten of Cups. We have another 10 in the Wheel of Fortune. We have the star. Then we had the death card come out. And at first that fell out upside down. Okay, but then another card came out that pushed it off the table and it fell right side up. And that card is the hanged man in reverse. Good golly, Miss Molly. All right, so check it out. We're gonna start with death. Death came out and it was reversed, which initially to me spoke to some sort of resistance towards change. Makes perfect sense, okay? Um, this has been the dynamic that the, mas the divine masculine and the divine feminine have been ping-ponging between for eons, okay? As long as this experiment has been going on on Earth, there has been resistance to change from either side of the issue, from either side, either party. For the masculine, the masculine is still kind of dealing with the resistance um, because they're having to pull themselves out of this extreme patriarchal, uh, fairly narcissistic, twisted masculine um, paradigm that we are very deeply rooted in right now. 
for the feminine and, and I don't and, and and masculines I'm not trying to say I'm not trying to blame you guys I'm not trying to say you're bad or wrong spirit wants me to point this out there was a moment within human history in which the feminines were in control and in power and were extremely narcissistic and very much treating the masculines in the way the masculines treat the feminines now if that makes sense it's just literally the pendulum has just swung and we're trying to level this out right okay but now in the current day from the feminine point of view the feminines are 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 have very strongly moved forward in the process of regaining their power taking their power back justice and the hermit okay so this is why she's she's clamming up now from the feminine point of view there has been a change in perspective that has allowed this transformation to happen for the feminines. This is why so many of the feminines have clammed up, moved on, are not even willing to entertain anything that their divine masculine has to put forward any longer. And this is not out of malice. It's not out of malice. There may be a little bit, there may be a good tinge of uh, twinge, I would say, of uh, resentment, but that's something that the divine feminine is still working towards healing okay but a transformation has happened in which she's not taking any shit from anybody any longer now the masculine i feel like the masculine is in the process of going through this transformation now because they are now starting to see things from a different point of view their, their, their perspective is changing as well, hanged man in reverse, therefore transformation can happen. I'm not projecting to know what that transformation is going to look like. Obviously it's going to look different for everyone, but see here, y'all, see here. Wheel of Fortune, the Star, and the Ten of Cups. Wheel of Fortune is karmic. I told you, massive karmic change is happening right now, okay? Massive karmic change. And healing is happening. Wish fulfillment, though, with the Ten of Cups, which is that love, the family, the romance, the house with the kids and, the, and, the, and, and all that stuff. Like, all of that stuff that you want, it's going to happen. Some of you may ask, who with who, you say? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's someone new or maybe it's with the same person but just a new book, different chapter even. Actually, if it's with the same person, it's going to be a different chapter. If it's a new person, it's a new book. Ah, I'm hearing karmic retribution. Karmic retribution. And I don't know what that means. Spirit's not trying to tell me. Uh, that's not for me to know what this karmic retribution is. Uh, maybe for my own situation, you know, my own personal life, I can I can deduce what some what karmic retribution would be. But for others, that's the universe is deciding it right now. All right, so I want to close this reading with greater clarity. I'm gonna use another tarot deck. I'm not gonna get in. I'm not gonna get into oracle cards. It's already been about forty minutes. Um, but I want to get closing messages, closing advice for the masculine side of the situation and the feminine side of the situation, and. Good Lord, spirit is pulling. Oh my God, you sneaky little poo faces. <laughs> Spirit's pulling me back into doing twin flame readings, guys. Damn it. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to use the, 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 the two decks that I use for the mirror readings for my twin flame readings. So the uh, Tarot Apocalypsis for the masculine and then the Tarot Illuminati for the feminine, all right? And I'm doing this in this way because I'm... I'm I'm gonna. I'm looking to get uh, closing guidance here, advice on how to handle this, handle this on either side. Okay, so masculine, masculine, you're first. How, how do you handle this? Closing advice for the masculine side of the situation. One more shuffle, they say. All right. Okay, here we go. Closing message for the masculines, please. Judgment. Wow. That's enough. Okay. Oh, shoot. 
All right, so the tower came out in reverse with judgment, the three of swords, and the ten of wands is underneath the deck. Oh boy, divine masculine. There's more. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Seven of Cups again. All right, here we go. The moon is in reverse. The Eight of Cups. The Ace of Swords. Yes. All right, cool. So you get it now. See, masculines, you get it now. So what you need to do, well, some of you do. Tower is in reverse. You're coming out of a tower moment. You had a pretty extreme one, the moon. But you see, yeah, especially with this Ace of Swords here, the moon, the tower represents an energy that um, really shook you to your core. And a lot of the illusion was broken down for you and you, saw some, you started to see some things quite clearly with this Ace of Swords energy. Um, so now you have to walk away. You've got to walk away from all the different options. Seven of Cups here, all right? You've got to walk away from all this bullshit. The distractions, the illusions, all of it. You've got to walk away from that. And you've got to follow the ascension. Judgment. You've got to go through your ascension process. That is literally the only thing that is going to help you clear this up, Divine Masculine. There is no other way to handle this. There is no other way. That, and see, oh, that's exactly why I said you can't show up with the, like, like this king of wands all willy-nilly, all like boasting with confidence and ego and like self-pride and like entitlement and think you can just waltz in here and get what you want. Hell no, it does not work that way. All right? It does not work that way. You are no more entitled to anything than anybody else. All right? You just aren't. Everybody is equal. So if you want to get to the level that the feminine's on and you want to be able to communicate with the feminine and not have her slam your slam the door in your face, not have you not have her cut you up like I don't know, minced meat, then you've got to do some soul searching. You've got to go through the ascension process just like she did. That's the only way that this is going to work. <sighs> All right. Advice for the feminine. How does the feminine handle this situation? Really interesting the way this has progressed over the last two weeks. All right, last one. Advice for the feminine here. And handle this. Oh, well, that's be oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. And we have one card fell underneath the deck. You have the Six of Wands. Cool. So look, feminines, divine feminine energy, you. Justice is being served, period, point blank, all right? Oh, damn, you see, I saw, damn. Oh, shit, y'all. All right, look, feminines, you're on the right path, okay? <laughs> look, shit, you got, first of all, you got the sun, okay? Okay, we're obviously mirroring each other here, guys. We're mirroring each other. The feminine got the sun and the sun upright. The masculine got the moon and the moon is reversed. All right, so this is illumination central. Feminines, you are the illuminating factor here. Oh, and then also we both got the ace of swords. All right, 
Feminines, you're the truth, bear truth bearers right now. You also got the Ten of Swords, Feminines. So listen, what do you do? You stay balanced. Because you also got the King and the Queen of Swords. All right, y'all stay, just stay balanced. Because you really have been, for the Feminines that I am, I am channeling for right now, you have been the masculine and the feminine. And the reason why you have cut things off so much, the reason why you are justified here is because you have the masculine balance within you saying, absolutely not, you will not treat me this way. You will not treat me this way. So this is really just confirmation that those feminines that are the high priestess reversed right now, that are choosing to clam up and stay clammed up until something changes sufficiently, you're balanced. You're balanced. All right? And then you have the ace, uh, the ace of wands and the two of wands. So advice for you, follow your passion. Live your life. Go on about your business. Leave whatever healing that needs to happen on the masculine side to the masculine. Like I said, they have to do it on their own, just like the feminines did it on their own. Now, granted, they're not completely alone, okay? They have the, the support of the divine of, um, you know, their spirit guides, their ancestors. They have the same support system that we do. Or we did, whatever. We all have the same support system in the divine. But... I mean... It can't be any more straightforward than that. Masculines, you just, you have to do your work. You have to go through the ascension process. Judgment, you have to. There is no way around it, all right? There is no amount of money, fame, opulence. There is no, there is no amount of material shit that's going to allow you back into the feminine's good graces because that is not what she wants. She wants nothing to do with any of that. We're gonna close the reading with one oracle card. But I can't tell which one right now. We're gonna go with good old Crystal Mandala. This is a really long reading, you guys. This isn't even this isn't even the weekend edition. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Whoops. All right, here we go. Best message, please, spirit, just to close out for both sides of the equation. All right. Relief and repair. Oh wait, I don't need to do this yet. <laughs> and this is card number 36. So this is a card number nine. All right. Ascended Master Mataji and Crimson Cuprite. Relief and repair. Now, the significance of this being a card number nine is that it, um, uh, uh, well, it boils down to a nine. Um, nines are endings. Oops. All right, here we go. We bring you the blessing of relief and repair. Our warmth and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind, and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light, light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy, but too much can burn. If that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, or overstretched mentally, physically, or emotionally. We will help you recover and increase your ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in future. 
without becoming overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now, which, nur nur which nurtures you with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy whilst we revive, strengthen, and fortify you with our nurturing grace. So both sides need to just get back to nature and just recharge, reset, okay? All right, guys. There you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. <laughs> This was a little bit of an interesting message today, but hey, it is what it is, right? I love you guys so much. Um, I am gonna do happy hour tonight. So, and I'll make an announcement, I'll post it so people that aren't watching this will see. But um, yeah, I love you guys. Have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Bye.